Hey everyone and welcome to our eighth live interview with our coaches. Today I'm joined by the absolutely amazing Bob Gualteri and he's going to be sharing a bit about his experience as a life coach and through our certification program as well. Bob, I just want to say thank you so much for being here today and sharing this space with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. I'm really happy to be here and um, you know, thank you for asking me. It's a pleasure to to do this with you um, and I'm looking forward to a great open conversation with us and hopefully some engagement from whoever's uh, joining us. Yeah, no, I'm sure there will be. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here, Bob. And if you are tuned in and you have any questions for Bob, please just drop them in the comments box below. I will bring them towards the end of the interview. So we'll bring your questions in at the end. Um, and if you let us know where you're tuning in from as well. So any questions you have, drop them in. Let us know where you're tuning in from. So Bob, my first question for you today is, what was it that kind of sparked your passion or your desire to kind of go into the life coaching field? Okay, you know, I, I, I think this started way, way back, uh, even when I was a lot younger. I, I noticed people would come to me and open up, um, and it seemed really easy for them to get into some things that were you know, in the personal area. And um, which I was kind of honored by that. It's like, wow, somebody's going to open up, you know, to me in this way. So I need to listen. Um, so it it was a great experience to you know, be able to um, create space, which I didn't know what that meant back then. <laughs> but um, you know, so they were so they were drawn to me, and and I went through those phases of learning. There are the um, People that come, they're the emotional vomiters, I call them, who just want to come and dump on you. Walk away feel, feeling great because you've energized them with, with your energy and showing your love and support. And, and they walk away and you know, you're half, you know, half dead. <laughs> so once you weed them out, um, the people, that, the genuine people that come to you because they're, they're hurting over something, you know, and they, they, they don't feel like they can go to their parents or their friends or their teachers or, professors or whoever um, you know it's it's really rewarding to know that you just contributed some way so um, I think that was the very beginning and then you know I have a journey of uh, dealing with anxiety for a long time and I've counseled um, so I under kind of understand counseling and therapy and that's much different and there was a component in there always missing. And that big component was empathy. Just never seemed to be there. Um, and I think the other thing that probably, uh, a couple things drew me in, of course. Um, and one was I had uh, experience with a coach that um, I thought was uh, amazing. And, and her, she came from a very ethical place, like coaching mind does, like what you've set up in, in space for coaching minds and the program and everything. Um, and, and I, and I love that it was, it was really similar. And, and during the process of coaching, um, as a coach, she really encouraged me to consider getting into it, uh, just because of the way our, our, uh, relationship developed, the uh, communication, um, I just saw something, sent something in me that would be conducive to being in the coaching space. And, um, and then being around, you know, you for one, uh, actually you've gone through this and, you know, having been a member of wisdom creators, all the wonderful people and, uh, watching other people, you know, move into that space and the concept of serving. Um, I think that just, I don't think it, it, it really does light me up to to serve and to give and to hold space for people and do what I can do. I always, I don't like people who aren't happy. <laughs> I, I think, um, I don't know, maybe that came from my childhood. I don't know, but I, I like people smiling and enjoying life. It's our birthright, you know, and I know we all go through things and, um, and I want to, I want to be that kind of person that I can be there if somebody's going through something and they need that kind of help to be able to hold that space for them and do it in a loving, compassionate, empathetic way. No, 
thank you for sharing that, Bob. And, and I have to be open and honest and show a lot of appreciation and thanks to you as well, uh, because there's been times when you've been a sounding board for me and you've listened to what's going on for me and you've really helped me unblock a few things as well. So I can definitely, from a personal experience, feel that energy that you have and that space that you create to listen to people. So thank you for me. And I can, like I said, I know that you're like that. And thank you for the times that you have have that space for me. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Um, really, that, that means a lot to me, Paul. And, you know, I, I enjoy talking with you. And, and um, so I, I appreciate you even bringing that up. Thanks. Yeah. No, it's the truth. And it's, you know, we've had those conversations. You've helped me a lot. So I just want to thank you um, for everything you've done. So thank you. Very welcome. Uh, so my next question um, is, what is it that attracted you to coaching minds? Um, well, you know, I think that starts back with um, being connected and wisdom creators and developing um, relationships with people there and realizing that there are like-minded people out there. <laughs> you know, you go through those moments when, when uh, people around you aren't growing or they're not, or they're not, they're not seekers. They're not in that space yet. Um, so, Wisdom Creators came along at just a perfect time for me. And, um, you know, the, the personalities of the people in the group, the warmth, the acceptance, you know, there's, it's an, there's no judgment and um, love and support whenever you need it. You can just be who you are. If you're having a bad day, you can say it. If you're having a great day, you can say it. Um, so, watching those people move into what you created in coaching minds made it a pretty easy draw <laughs> i mean the the um one there were some relationships already established just you know loving people you just wish you could spend you know every day with and and you just you know i just knew that um just by watching the way things were progressing that was just going to grow and get bigger and, and expand beyond what Wisdom Creators is. And uh, Wisdom Creators is a wonderful place and a, and a great space for a lot of people. And, and you know that. <laughs> you, you've watched it grow and the membership grow and the people that um, love coming into that space. And even if they have 10 minutes and they can just throw something out there, a little bit of wisdom or, you know, I'm thinking about this today. What do you think? You know, there's so much there, but um, coaching minds is bringing so much more and the potential for where it's going to go. You know, it's just, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's huge. I think it's been one of your visions for a while and, and, and I'm seeing it, you know, so it's, it's pretty easy and there's so many there's so many things going on there's you know look through there and, and uh, pick something there's something for everybody in there to do so it's, um, so yeah it's, it's, it's the people it's it's your vision it's the people who are on board with your vision who are like-minded it's the collective together again of that mindset of serving people that um, I, I don't know how you cannot get pulled into something that's loving and warm and supportive, you know, that reaches, that, that has a, a huge desire to reach further. And, and the world needs it. We all know the world needs it. It does. And I think the world needs it more now than ever um, through everything that we're going through. But um, no, thank you for everything you shared, Bob, and thank you for the energy that you put into the group. You know, you've been stepping on webinars and lives. You engage with a lot of people in there. Um, you've joined a lot of our previous brew crew sessions where we've had fun and getting together. Yeah. It's great you're always, you know, you're one of those people that are bringing that great energy into everything we do and really, really helping for just the flow of it. It really, really go greatly and creating that loving, secure space. It's, you know, you're a huge part of that as well. So thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. It's pretty easy when other people pull you in too. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. We've got some really great people in, in Wisdom Creators, and everybody in there is absolutely fantastic. And it's just, yeah, the energy is just, yeah, so loving, like you said, it's so warm and just, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing. And, you know, it's carried over from there into, into coaching minds and new people pop up and, and they're popping on camera, <laughs> you know, getting out of their comfort zone and doing things. And you're going, what? this is just, it's just amazing. It means I sit back sometimes and, you know, we all go through those moments of we're in it deeper and then there's just stuff going on and you, you need the, some space or you're busy at work, whatever else is going on. Right. And then you step back in a little bit more and you, and you realize there's some other people in there and you're looking at what they're talking about and you're going, wow, this is just crazy, incredible. <laughs> um, and it, at a time when people need it, um, it shows you how many amazing people there are around the world that we don't get it. We would not get a chance to connect or to even know about, um, you know, stay away from the news and all that junk, right? You know, they make it look like the world's all, you know, going to hell and, and nobody's any good. <laughs> and, uh, you know, why kind of, why bother? Why are you happy? Um, you get it, you know, you get a taste in wisdom and creators of, there's people doing uh, wonderful, kind things all around the world, e everywhere. You don't have, we don't have to, you know, we all don't have to donate $18 billion to make a difference. <laughs> you know, there are people, you know, during the worst part of COVID going and buying groceries for other people, um, knocking on doors, making sure people were okay. Um, and all the little things that happen, you know, through the challenges. Um, you know, that connect you to the bigger picture that ah, the world is full of amazing people with huge hearts and, and caring and love. And um, yeah. I could go on for hours about that, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. And I definitely resonate. You know, there's, there's so much kindness being shared out there and give people giving their time and energy. And sometimes it can be, if you've got lots of money, sometimes it's easy just to donate a thousand pounds to something. And that's not a lot of energy or effort from that person. But those who have very little but give a lot to help other people, those are the types of people that I'm seeing in Wisdom Creators as well. And they're just they're amazing. They're, they're dedicating their time and energy to serve other people out of the goodness of their, their hearts. So I really resonate with what you're sharing. It's, it's Yeah, it's, beautiful it's, thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Definitely. Yeah, it is. So my next question is with regards to our certification program. So you signed up to our program in March, I believe, early March. Yes. And you've okay. been with us for about four or five months. So my question is, in everything that we offer within our certification program, what is it that you enjoy the most? Oh, um, there's a lot I like about it. <laughs> um, you know, the, the, the first two things, of course, are it's a certified course. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of, you know, once you start to dabble or even think that you might want to get into coaching, your social media is flooded with all these coaching opportunities and all this stuff. And, you, you know, for the heck of it, you click on a link and you go and take a look at it and see what happens. And, and then the, um, you know, 300 upsell things start to happen once you, <laughs> once you get on their site. Well, not only can you do this, we can offer this, we can offer that. Um, so it, it's just, it's kind of crazy. And the majority of them don't offer certification and when you're dealing with people's lives, their their emotions, um, I mean, that's something I take seriously. I know it's something you and everybody in Coaching Mind takes really seriously. If you're serving and you want to be in that coaching space, you want to be doing it right, you know? Um, you know, can some people do it w without having a certification? Well, sure. but. Why would you not want to do that? So certification is a big thing. The, the uh, content of the course, um, the number of hours uh, requires the commitment. So it's like, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. This is not, you know, this is not playtime. This is serious. And um, the other huge thing is the, is the ethical part of it it you know without the ethics what's what's there what's to 
Um, well, first, you don't know what you don't know when it comes to some ethical things in that in the coaching space. So you have to learn it. And then what are you doing and how are you really serving? How are you helping if you don't have those those ethics rooted in? And um, you, you need a place to get that and done an amazing job of, of setting that up and making that a priority really early you know, in, in the course. So um, those two things are probably, you know, probably the, the biggest two. Um, and, the, and the way the program set up to offer you the ability to practice, uh, you can practice the exam when it comes to time for the ethics exam. Um, you can do the workshop ses sessions and you can, you know, be a coach, be a client, just sit back and observe, whatever. You know, those are huge, valuable tools that, uh, you know, I haven't done a lot of the investigation that I know you have to create this, but I got to believe there's a really small percentage of anybody that's offering all, all of those sort of things within a program like this. No, thank you for sharing that, Bob. And you know, the two things you've highlighted are the two things that are really important for us at Coaching Minds as well. Is that certification, which is accredited, so it's accreditation is not as well now. Um, so we're accredited by the AMCC, the European Mentoring and Coaching Council. And um, it was really nice last night. We got a notification that you can actually find our course in the EQA holders. So if you type it in their website, we come up, which is is fantastic. And then the other side, which I know a lot of the coaches are mentioning as well, is that ethics side. We really want people to coach the right way and take, you know, working with clients in, in a serious way and being client focused and understanding what we can do and can't do as a life coach. So it's really important. So thank you for sharing both of them, Bob. It, it really means a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. You're 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 part of, I guess, really bringing accountability to coaching. You know, if you think about it, let's like let's step it up, people. <laughs> um, this is this is serious stuff. We we have the ability to make a difference with people's lives, and let's do it the best way we can, and do it right. Exactly. We just want to create that high standard of how we should be behaving alongside the AMCC Global Code of Ethics. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you hit it right there. That's that that high standard um, that you strive for, and then and to stay there. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, and there's the other thing, you have things in there to keep us uh, at that high standard, you know, the check-ins to make sure that, that um, um, not just for, it, it's client focus first, which is the right thing, right? But also for us to make sure we're not getting off track because uh, life events, things happen, you know, and um, you may not be aware that you're just a little off track. And, uh, you know, so you have, Record session, send it in, and get some feedback, and you know, get back on course if you're off course. And if not, you get the validation that okay, um, you know, this is good. I'm on the right track. Oh, fantastic! Thank you for sharing that, Bob. So my next question is um, with regards to our coaching center. So as you know, as many people know, if they've watched the interviews, we also offer a coaching center where people who need coaching can make an application for free or they can make a donation if they're happy with the service, but they can get access to one of our trainee coaches. So my question is, what are your thoughts around our coaching center? Uh, how would I say this? That's freaking awesome. Um, <laughs> you know, seriously, um, the, the coaching industry is not as a whole stepped up. There are, um, now why do the people who don't have a lot always have to be the ones that can't have access? The, the, they're the, usually the ones that need it as much or more than anybody. And if, if it's not in your insurance program, you, you know, you're not making enough money, you're not in that top, top 5% of income earners and all that. Um, how do you how do you get the help? Uh, so, to offer something like this, where somebody can come in, and you, know, you can look through their um, uh, you know what what their what their needs are, and then match them up to somebody, uh, and then it can be done on a donation basis. Um, 
you know, if, if anybody is a trainee or is a coach, um, just wants to give, you know, they're, they're in that space where, you know, the, the money part of it's not, it's coming in from other sources or through their coaching. Um, and maybe they just want to give that day or that month to people for free. And certainly as a trainee, it's a huge uh, benefit. But for people to be able to come in and just say, hey, I'm, uh, I'm struggling here. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's, it's my, my marital relationship. It's my um, having trouble with my kids. I can't handle them very well. My job is not going very well. I'm not getting promoted. I'm financially um, in bad shape. Uh, wh whatever. It doesn't matter what subject is, right? It's just that they have a place to go to. And, um, and I think this starts to set the standard for hopefully other coaching programs and others around the world to create a space like this for people who need it. I mean, it's happening in the counseling therapy arena. Um, and I looked into that a little bit for my son not too long ago, but, but for coaching, why isn't it out there? <laughs> You know, everybody, you're one of the um, people, you, you know, I, I admire you and I love, your heart is so big, has such a huge space for helping people. And helping people is the thought that happens before the dollar sign ever comes into a picture. So, um, so that's what you've created. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, I hope that people will. People will, you know, as the word gets out and it spreads further and further, people are going to take advantage of that. And then, you know, having a variety of coaches that are good in certain areas or that want to niche in certain areas and you can pair them up with somebody. Um, if it doesn't work out with one, you can pair them up with somebody else. But the, the beauty is that people have a place to receive help when they need it. You know, just can't get any better than that. No, thank you so much for your, your kind words, Bob, and your observations with this, because that's what we're trying to do is give people that opportunity and help those who really need it. Um, and you know, one of the challenges we have is we haven't quite put the coaching center out there yet to its full maximum because at the moment we've got 20 coaches. We need more coaches. If we open the front gates, we have too many kinds coming through. We don't want to add people to wait lists, have people waiting around. You know, We want to make sure that service is good. So we need more coaches in to help us with this mission, to help us serve those who need it as part of the program and really you know, help us connect the, the dots between the two. Um, because the other thing we haven't really talked about in any of the interviews that's really good about the coaching center as well is it offers that extra layer of protection for clients. So if you just pick up a coach that doesn't have certification, you go with them, you get a bad service, the only route that you really have is to take them down the legal route, which is very timely and very costly. Where here, if you're not happy with the service you get for a coach, you can come to Coach of Minds. We'll deal with it. We'll help manage that situation. We'll correct what's happening and, and act as a mediator. If you're not happy with Coach in Minds because we're accredited, you can then go to the EMCC. So there's kind of two extra layers of protection to help you uh, make sure that you are getting that ethical service and you are getting what you need from our coaches and where holding ourselves accountable to the standard of the EMCC as well. Yeah, great. That's a great point because it's really easy. Um, you know, even when I, I was, I was coached for a little while, I really had no idea, <laughs> you know, was it gonna, you know, there was a discovery call, but, but you have no idea. So what if it doesn't work out and they don't have a, a an ethical refund policy then then basically you're you're screwed. I mean, you've just put out you know, X amount of dollars, and some of these coaches you know, aren't aren't cheap um, with no recourse. So yeah, it's it's great that they have the ability to come in and know that that um, that you're behind them. That if there's something goes wrong, um, or that it's just not the right fit, something happens, you're right there to support them, move them to somebody else. Um, or do whatever is necessary to handle the situation at that time. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big deal. It is. Thank you so much for that, Bob. Um, and my next question is with regards to another service that we offer here, which is our coaching pod. 
So each one of our coaches get the, gets their own online space where they can uh, do a lot of stuff in there and connect with their community, their members, and their followers. So my next question is, um, what, what's your thoughts around the coaching pods that we offer? It, it's a huge benefit. I mean, it's really, um, it's an unexpected pleasure to have, <laughs> you know, to have that offering because uh, it's really easy to, to go through any kind of learning and, and study and do the work. And then, um, then you're looking around and you're tapping your fingers and you're going, okay, uh, what do I do now? And, <laughs> you know, how do I get things rolling? How do I get people in? Uh, how do I build a website? How do I get on StreamYard or Zoom or whatever? Um, where do I where do I post content? Where where can I, you know, post encouragement? Where can I uh, market? Where can I do all those sorts of things? And coaching pod just it's a uh, uh, you know it's kind of like a it's kind of like when you go into those places which which you know, they call the click funnels where they're upselling you for all sorts of things. <clears throat> so if they offered something like this, it would be, you know, level one, two, three, four, five, and there's a, you know, price tag to every piece of that. Here, it's it's part of of the program, it's part of the, the expansion and ongoing, um, I don't know what I'm looking for, but I guess the ongoing expansion and spread for coaching minds to reach further. Um, by supporting, by providing support within for the, the trainee coaches and the certified coaches right there, um, you know, that it's a, it's a benefit to them, but it's a draw for other people because they'll see, oh, wow, I get all this. You know, if I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about coaching, I've been looking at programs, but I don't see anybody offering all these things in one place, you know, under one umbrella and, uh, that's an unusual thing to, to have that offering. So it's, you know, it, it's something you can't, there's nothing you put a price tag to because you can't. It's, there's a lot of, there's so much value there. You can't put a price tag to it. You have to just understand that there's a lot of value there. So use it. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you for that. And you know, that's what we're trying to do is what, when we really did the research before we start to set up this program is we're seeing a shift in the way the industry is going. So coaches are no longer just coaches anymore. In order to jump on board with everything that's moving online, we need to start to understand how to create content, how to market ourselves, how to get ourselves out there through podcasts, ebooks, and like you said, just using this technology such as StreamYard, um, Infinity, Meet Fox, all these different things that are great tools. And so how do we help our trainee coaches get that experience and start to market themselves online? Because it can be very daunting. It can be very, you know, there's a lot out there. How do we help support them get off and, and make them successful? So, yeah, yeah. That really is, you know, it's just another piece of evidence that that you've done a lot of homework uh, and a lot of research in the industry in general to uh, to recognize where the gaps were. Lots of gaps, right? Lots of holes, lots of gaps. Recognize where they were, and then try to figure out how do I, how do I do that? Which I'm sure is it's like anything else. It's a learning experience, and you you adjust it and manipulate it to make it better as you progress and evolve. One hundred percent. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who filled out our survey over a year ago when we did this and and helped us. We you know we interviewed a lot of coaches. Sorry, we put a survey out for a lot of coaches asking them what their biggest challenges were, what was difficult for them, and that, that helped us start to add in these extra services and chips. So huge thank you. If you're tuning in watching this and you filled out that survey, you played a big part in helping us get here. Yeah. So, Bob, my final question is, um, and it's an honest answer, yes or no, um, but would you recommend Coaching Minds? If so, why? And if not, why not? Okay. Um, that, that's a pretty easy answer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course, I would. Um, for a lot of the reasons we've been we've been talking about, uh, one of the other uh, thinking about this earlier, one of the other big things that's uh, that's a, a huge draw uh, for me, and I think as 
you know, the more time your coaching mind is around and the name is out there and people start to, you know, um, see what's offering, uh, is that you're not staying static. You're never going to be static. You're dynamic in the approach from, from day one, it's evident. So, um, whether it's, um, offerings for a client or offerings for other coaches, um, uh, events, whatever, you know, the webinars, the live, whatever, whatever it turns out to be in the future that, um, that becomes something that can be, uh, contributing to serving humanity and serving clients and also serving the coaching community within, um, you're going to do that. Uh, that's, that's a, that's a big thing because you don't want to become stagnant. And, um, and I want to recommend it, you know, even in my own profession and my professional work, um, I've, I've watched how some, the, the great ones evolve. <laughs> they, they understand the value in that. Um, you, you obviously do. And, and everyone is part of, um, coaching minds and, and the behind the scenes workings and all that stuff. Understand that, uh, you're all, you're all learning too. You're all learning and growing. You're staying on top of what's happening out in the industry. You're looking at what's happening in changes in technology that can be a benefit to the client and the coach. So that, that dynamic approach to what you're doing is, um, it's huge. I don't know. I don't know where you go get that, frankly. And, and I even, um, I think I told you this, Paul, <laughs> just, uh, I did it kind of as a fun thing. Because I, I knew of her, Marianne Williamson, who's a, uh, a significant spiritual leader. And so she's connected with another person, and I don't remember her name, but she has a website that helps people write books. So Marianne Williamson wanted to put out this coaching course, offer this thing up. So uh, I don't know, probably went on for three hours or more talking about the program and a little bit about themselves and um it's like a 12-week course super intense and they tell you you're really gonna have to be there all the time one uh, it's really difficult for a lot of people and um then you have to fill out this uh, survey and you have no idea you know what's going to happen but they tell they told me there's uh, they're going to pick x number of people out of the applicants so I wanted to just see what was going to happen for fun. So I did it. Right. And, um, and the guy could contact me and said, we think you're a great fit as a, as a life coach and, um, based on your answers and all that kind of stuff. It's like, well, that's nice to hear, but so, okay. What does that mean? Uh, you know, it means 12 weeks of really super intense stuff. And oh, the way it's by the way, um, hope you have a big checkbook and, <laughs> And, um, you know, we're, we're going to be here to support you while you're here, but there was nothing about the after. So what after? So I'm going to spend thousands of dollars for whoever decides to do this because there's this big name, you know, behind it, thousands and thousands of dollars for this. And then I'm going to do that. I'm back to the tapping my finger on the desk and going, no. now what do I do with this information? <laughs> I don't know how to market. You know, how do I, how do I uh, effectively use StreamYard or Zoom or whatever program I'm going to use? Um, how am I going to, how am I going to uh, collect money? You know, where's the, where's the code of ethics and code of conduct? Where, where's all that stuff? Of course, I'm, I went through this after being in, in you know, in uh, coaching mind. So I'm comparing going, wow, this is just crazy. And this is just one group. You know, look in your feed, right? You're, they're all the time. They may not be big names, but they're all trying to do that same thing. And, you know, forget it. The world needs people that that care. And do we all deserve to make uh, money and make a living? Well, yeah, of course. That's, you know, and we're going to build a business around our coaching. Um, if, if you want the coaching business, you can do it. If you want to do it as a volunteer, you can do it. 
if you want to make it part of your business, like Vijaya talked about, uh, utilizing it in that venue. Um, you know, it's up to you. But whatever direction you go in, you can get help and, and support. And, it, you know, it's just not, it's not out there elsewhere without a huge uh, price tag to it. So, um, so yeah, it, it's, it, it's really easy to recommend. I mean, you've got, you know, there, there are too many good things about it to, to not easily recommend it to people. No, thank you so much for that, Bob. And, you know, yeah, there's a lot of, of programs out there that are trying to get those quick, fast dollars that are your 12 week programs, six week programs, but then they are left with, okay, what next? And this is one of the things we want to offer here at Coaching Minds is that lifetime support because it's no extra work for us to, you know, we like to stay in contact in, in kind of change with the industry. We need to look at where the industry is going, what's good practice out there, what people are doing that's new, what's the new technologies. And it's no extra work for us to, to do that for ourselves, but also share that with our community of coaches as well to say, look, this is a, you know, we, you know we're in partnership with WBEX. We bring the WBEX stuff that comes through and um, other partnerships we bring in and um, to share, look, these are more opportunities for you as a life coach to get involved in the industry. This is the way the industry is shaping. And it's no extra work for us to step into a, a coach of communities to say, this is the way the industry is going. You might want to make just some opportunities. This might want to make some changes to your practice. Here you go. And that's, that's what we really want to give. Um, so, so thank you for, for highlighting that, Bob. It, it really, really means a lot that you're you're seeing that and you're observing that here at Coaching Minds. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. And it's evident. And really, it's, um, you know, kudos to, to, to all of you for um, having that mindset to start with, to to want to do that. And, and to realize that it's not like you're tripling your work. It takes work. I mean, it's not like, you know, it doesn't take work. But you've... You, You've worked it out in a way that it's incorporated into what you do anyway. Yeah, exactly. And it's a promotion of collaboration. I feel like a lot of coaches, they find something new and they keep it to themselves. We're here, you know, we're all trying to grow our coaching practice. We all find these new tips and ideas and we share it together because we want to see everyone succeed. Collaboration is all about the clients and servants. So I yeah. can definitely agree with you on that. So. Perfect. You know, that's, again, you know, you have a great way of putting things in, and that was the great way to, to put that. Um, that, that that's really what it's all about and um, for a lot of people it's uh, you know probably for all of us in in our various professions and my, my profession is that way it's like you know go to 500 architectural firms and they all have their own way of doing things and they're you know they're holding on to their little manual really tight so nobody else can figure out what they're doing like we don't know <laughs> so why not uh, the world benefits from sharing. We've all benefited from sharing what we know, our stories, uh, the, the book club, um, webinars, anything that you have, because we all have value. We all have learned something. Uh, we can share the good, bad, and ugly, and somebody's going to gain something from that. And uh, so, you know, hoarding things like that and not sharing them just to me is just not the right way to be serving the world at large no 100 percent. so thank you bob i'm just going to go to the comments on facebook and see if there's any questions come through and um, a lot of people have tuned in whilst we've been live so luchmi's here luchmi has said hello and dini said hello and priya's tuned in and watching we've got surangi she's saying hello how are you bob um how are you doing bob you good good thank you everybody for uh, appreciate you being here Fantastic. Um, Andini here says, Bob, you are amazing, natural and genuine coach. I feel so privileged to have the opportunity to talk to you and learn a lot from you. Oh, my gosh, Andini. Uh, well, you know, I love you. Um, <laughs> and I'm uh, looking forward to our next webinar, <laughs> yeah, whatever we do. Uh, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. It's good for all of us to get some some feedback like that and i think thank you very much it means a lot no it was an absolutely fantastic webinar so if you've missed it if you go into our wisdom creators and just type in the power of thought or andini or bob it will come up and you can catch the replay of the previous one and looking forward to your, your next one as well it was a really really good live and um, andini is saying anyone who wants to be in the community of like-minded people she would really recommend coaching minds thank you so much andini really appreciate it um andini is saying so true flooded 
Um, she's also saying serious time indeed. Coaching mindset certification program is the best for the ethics module where we learn so much to be ethical, genuine, and the best coaches that we can be. Thank you so much, Andini. I really, really appreciate you stepping forward with that and sharing that. And thank you, Bob, for, for sparking that in today's session. Um, we've got Rosabella Lawin tuned in. It's wonderful to see you here, Rosabella. Um, Liz Rose, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in and being here today. Um, Rosabella is saying hello to both of us. Um, and Dini is saying the coaching center is freaking awesome, truly affordable <laughs> to anyone looking for a coach. And um, she's also put another long, long comment here. Looking for a coach can be so daunting and overwhelming, but a coaching center is a real place to find coaches with no upsell at the end of it. It's total focus on helping clients get their result, whatever that is. And as Bob mentioned earlier on, the big benefit for our coaches is you help them on their journey to becoming a certified life coach. So by giving them, them hours and allowing them to practice their skills, you're helping them become accredited and get the experience that they need. Um, Luchmi has said, listening to Bob is like experience and maturity, voicing it out. She really appreciates it. Wow, thank you for that. Um, I, I appreciate that. And, um, and hello to a couple of new names I didn't recognize there. Uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, um, Andini, you're just yeah, you're just amazing anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so um, Andini's agreeing with a lot of stuff that you're saying coming through. She's saying it's also an easy answer to recommend coaching minds. She said it's great to hear perspectives from other coaches about coaching minds. Thanks, Bob, for sharing your experiences and insights. Um, Vijay is tuned in watching. Daniela's here. And Daniela Begg is tuned in. Um, everyone's saying hello. Vijaya has said, uh, thanks, Bob, for sharing your insights. The value and quality that Coaching Minds is providing is truly priceless. Thank you so, so much, Vijaya, for sharing that. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you here. Yeah, it's great to see you here. And it's great to see Lushmi as well. Lushmi's got another another question, another comment coming through. So she's saying, so true, it's not about acquiring a course, go through it, and then feeling lost when it comes to the time to apply. So she's really resonating with those the course that you explained, or courses that are like that, where they leave you feeling a little bit lost at the end. Yeah, it's a, Lushmi, yeah I know it's a horror. It's, it, it's a really frustrating feeling to feel like you you know you've gone through something and spent your time and energy and money and then you know what what do i do help <laughs> somebody somebody just guide me you know i'll do the work but but you know just help me a little bit yeah great benefit uh, fantastic thank you so much bob um, and then daniela Beck is saying hello from australia to us both so big hello to you daniela thank you so much for tuning in and taking your yeah, time hello australia nice i hope to go there one day yeah, I'd like to go there one day as well, definitely. And so, yeah, global audience, you know, we've got people from Philippines, Indonesia, Guyana, from Priya, India, um, yeah, all over the globe, UK. So global audience today again, Bob. So so thank you uh, so much for your time. Yeah. I really, really appreciate everything you shared and for taking up top spot of your busy day. I know you're a, a busy man, so thank you for, for making the time for this, this interview. Um, we really, really appreciate it. And if anybody does have any questions on the replay, please just drop them below. I'll keep an eye on it for you, Bob, and, and drop okay. a chat um, if anybody has any questions for you so you, you can get back to them. Um, but yeah, huge thank you, Bob. I really, really appreciate it. I will. It. Yeah, Paul, th thanks for inviting me. Um, I, I enjoy this. I, I, I love engagement, the exchange and interaction. So um, I appreciate you um, bringing me in and doing the interview. And um, Yeah, anybody has any questions? Uh, put them down on the replay, anybody that watches afterwards, and I'd be happy to, to answer any questions anybody has. Fantastic. Thank you. And if anybody is interested in becoming a coach, my door's always open. You can just reach out and we can have a conversation as well. Um, or you can find out more about anything you want from Bob too. So a huge thank you. Have an amazing week, everybody, and we'll speak soon. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.